Hi guys, I've got my 300 watt iTech World Raptor coated solar panel that went faulty. What I've actually done is I was checking the individual panels for voltage and on panel one, I was getting about one or two volts. On panel two, I was getting about one or two volts. And on panel five, I was getting about four volts. But panel three and panel four, were performing correctly and giving me 20 volts per panel, which is what they should be doing. The problem was I was finding was I just wasn't getting very much current out of the panel. It was actually working, but it, it was only down to basically two panels out of the five. You know, as it was out of warranty, and it was gonna cost me 35 plus dollars to get it sent over to Perth, I'd just pull it apart. I unstitched it. You can see that you've got your insulation, but there's nothing serviceable inside here at all. I thought maybe the, the cables going across might have been damaged, or maybe there was some corrosion from moisture, but no, nothing in there that you could fix yourself. So I decided to cut the two panels out that were working, and then I'm gonna discard the rest of it. I took the, the connector out of the pocket, disconnected that from this side, disconnected it from the ribbon cables, and then transfer that across to um, this end of the working panel. That now gives me a two panel, 120 watt solar panel working now. So what I've done is I've just got the two panels that are working. So I've taken the joiner and the tail, connected it onto the cables that run through to the positive and negative on the panels. All I've got to do now basically is, um, is just seal the ends. Behind me, I've just got my portable lithium battery. It does have a small 500 watt inverter built into the top, hence the reason why I've got a power board sitting on top of it. I've got a shunt inside as well, so I can see what's going in or coming out. And I've got my iTech World regulator, which seems to do a reasonable job. So if we now connect the solar cable from the regulator to the panel, we got five point something to about six amps. So that's not too bad off of what is in effectively a 120 watt solar panel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. If anybody's interested in buying Starlink, we've got a referral code. And basically what happens is you'll get a month free. We'll get a month free. We'll put our referral code in the description below. Um, but yeah, if you could use that, that would help us out immensely. Awesome. Thanks guys. If you are enjoying our videos, please click like, subscribe and click the bell for notifications.